YouTube, this is Jen, your Pudgy Picker. Got another Thursday garage sale and haul for you this week. I believe we went to 16 sales. Not too bad, not as many as last week uh, were in the paper. So I uh, got up early, went with my son. He picked up a few items as well. And let me show you what I got. I can't remember how much I spent. I'll put it, put it in the title or the description when I remember. But I did get a few items that surprised me. Let me show you down here. This is a ottoman. It's not leather, but it's a really good imitation. Looks great. No holes, no uh, places where it's coming apart. No price on it. You know, you're always afraid to ask. So I said, how much do you want for it? She said, $2.50. I said, $2.50. She said, yep. And I said, here you go. So probably gonna put 20 to $30 on that. I got two of these really cool CD racks. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these and put fabric in them, which I've kind of been thinking about doing. Thanks, Kim, for the idea. Ha, ha, ha. But these two are in very good condition. Solid wood, uh, the metal, five bucks a piece. I got this cute little Paris pillow, $2. And the black frame with the cork board. I might end up replacing the cork board because it looks a little tired. But that was a whole one or two dollars. I think it was two dollars. I think she had three and I offered her two. Um, on the table, I have a Roseville uh, bowl with the blue stripes. Very good condition. No chips, no crazing, no cracks, no nothing. And even the stripe is in really good condition. Two bucks. Very happy with that. So that will probably go in my antique mall booth. Um, very heavy, so shipping would be a lot. But I will check online, you never know. Got two older frames, a couple of the interesting antique photos I have, I would like to frame them and sell them like that. So I thought I'd pick these up. These were only, I believe, 50 cents a piece. Um, got this little micro cassette recorder. It is a GE. It's a little scuffed, but it seems to work pretty good. Has a tape in it, has two additional tapes probably go ahead and sell that online. Got this really cool, it, it's kind of sort of like a mask, pottery of some sort, isn't it unique? That was $3. Things like this that are unusual, people just love stuff like that because it's one of a kind. You're not gonna find that anywhere else. Got a few hook cup hooks and sawtooth picture hangers. Those were not marked. I said, how about 50 cents for three? He said, yes. Got this KT Millet spray, Sprigs for uh, the birds. It was only a dollar to garage sale. Lady had parakeet. she just gotten, had this and one that was open and the parakeet does not like them. So yeah, last time I went to get some for the birds at the pet store, they were out. So that came in handy. I believe that was 50 cents. It is an iron hook to hang up your keys on. Still in the box, still has the paper with it. Another cute little elephant watering can, not as cute as the one I got at the auction, but it is all metal. Still, I believe, has the tag on it. And it was only $3. Got this cute paperweight. These always do really well. Only paid a dollar for that. Got a little owl, he was 10 cents. And what does he say on the bottom? He does say Japan on the bottom. Good. Didn't even notice that. <laughs> got some Coca-Cola coasters still in the package. Got a little wiener dog planter for a dollar. Uh, these were only a dollar. Got some men's shoes. I don't sell shoes all that often, but certain brands, I will definitely pick them up, especially if they're in good uh, condition with little wear. These are Cole Haan. They are in very good condition. Still have a price sticker. The soles don't look like they have any wear at all. I believe I paid $5 for these and $3 for these. These are Born brand. Um, they do have a little bit of scuffing on the toe, which I can clean those up. But again, bottoms are in very almost mint condition. So $8 for the pair, three, three and five, or essentially $4 a pair. Not too bad. Got a Vera Bradley little wallet. 
I believe this was three, but I talked her down to two. It's in very good condition. People are always looking for the retired patterns to go with the purses. Um, that one isn't too old. I uh, got a sign for two dollars says life is short enjoy your coffee people love signs especially when it has to do with coffee or uh, you know cute little sayings these do really well this is nice because it sets up it's like a box style or you can hang it up on a wall as well haven't found a globe in a while this is my first one of the season paid three dollars for it it is a good vintage one the base and this part is all metal. Um, I have sold the ones with the plastic bottoms before. All globes sell. I do really well with them. It's just you can ask a little more for the ones that are vintage like this that have the metal base. Got this cute little cupcake purse. It was only 50 cents. Um, and it says piece of cake. Isn't that adorable? I had to wrench it from my daughter's hands when I brought it in. Uh, she loves these little, like, anime type. You know, the last one I got, guess who got it? Yes, she did. But this one, she says, ah, my sketchbook won't fit in there. And I've had that style, and they don't really last long for her. So that is the gist of what I got this week. A um, few quality piece items. I would say, oh, 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 I don't want to forget these. I do watch... If you've never watched Scavenger Life here on YouTube, um, I really like a lot of things that they show or that they talk about they've sold. And this is something that they've uh, shown before is different silverware and flatware. And this is cool because even though it is a brand that they still make them, I think it's Echo, E-K-C-O, Maybe it'll focus, maybe not. These have cool wooden handles on them. And that is something that people look for. There, you can see it on there. I'm not sure how many are in here. It's probably a service of eight. I've never seen a spoon that looks like that. Um, there's a couple of those. I don't know. Never seen that before. But I will do some research on them. There is a fair amount in here. I believe these were only four bucks. And I got these at the same place I got the uh, men's shoes at. So do a little bit of research on those, and those will be going on eBay. So I would say about half of what I got is going on eBay, and the rest is going out to my antique booth. So this is, I know everybody, it's a slow time of year for selling. But this is the time you need to get your inventory. I take all my inventory and I put it away. And then I have lots of inventory when it comes for the rest of the year. So when sales start picking up in September, and if you're in an area where garage sales kind of dwindle after summer is done and you have to go back to thrifting and such, you definitely, definitely have to um, step up your game. But I would say, you know, get while the getting's good. I do definitely buy ahead, and usually as much as I buy, it will last me into the winter and into the early spring, and then I usually have to supplement uh, inventory by going to uh, thrift stores and auctions. You know, those are my bystanders there. Um, I did go to the auction as well this week, so I'll be showing you what I got there. I got some interesting, cool, different, unique items. So that's all I got for this Thursday garage sale haul. Please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other videos. This is uh, my probably my second summer where I've gone full on garage sale and then look and see the kind of things I'm picking up. Uh, it's out there. You just have to make the time and get out there and find it. So until next time, happy picking. Bye.